Okay, so now we put the wet t-shirt on top of the palette. And use the cover to fasten the t-shirt without bending and scratch the, the print head. not touch the surface of t-shirt. And then we can start to print from the computer. We process the picture and do some setting and then we start printing the next job. Okay, now we start to print the picture on the wet t-shirt after we rip a picture from the uh, rip print software. First, we must power on the machine and we connect the USB cable with the machine to your computer. And then we go to desktop and we find the Tuxa Synergy Plus icon. We First, we right click the mouse and we must set that we open the icon to open it with the administrator Right, open it. Then we got the interface for the control system. And here we can see the printer connected. That means the machine connect with the, the computer succeed. And this XY means the, the position for carriage. So first we load the picture, go to fire, and we open the, the file that we ripped for the white t-shirt. White t1, after we rip. <coughs> and from the message, we can see the resolution and the color we see is four colors DMYK and the printing size. <clears throat> so before we print the, the, the picture on the t-shirt, first of all, you must be sure the the t-shirt printing palette you install on the machine, the size. For example, we, we put the Roger, the Roger t-shirt palette. Roger size is for 40 times 50 centimeter. And we select the correct model selection palette and we click on the center. If we click on this center print, the picture will directly automatically print on the middle of the X, X uh, axis, but the Y axis middle you must set from the Y margin. And if you click off this one, you must set from here for the X margin from zero. And normally we just click this one automatically print on the middle of the t-shirt. And the Y margin, the width of the, this picture is 426 millimeter, and the maximal palette size is uh, 50 centimeter, 500 millimeter. So 500 minus 426 is um, 74, 74 centimeter. 74 the divided by two is um, 37. So we put 37 for print on the middle of the t-shirt. And then we go to another setting. First, we go to, uh, we must click on the web margin, otherwise we print from the current position. And first we attribute, task attribute. <coughs> the pass is automatic uh, stick path. And repeat print just for print. If you want to print the same picture more than one, more than one pieces, for example, this this picture I want to print on 10 or 100 pieces uh, t-shirt by same image, you can set the how many t-shirts you want to print. 
by one one job. For example, you also can print by one hundred, or uh, and and then you print. But if you put more than one, you need to every every teacher after print, you need to press the copies print button from the machine. The top the top acrylic control touch panel option. Otherwise, they not print the, the second copies. So if you want to just one print, just one print one picture at one T-shirt, you just uh, print one is okay. And the religion is just for I just print. You can you can select any position just so you want print. For example, I just want print on the, on the eyes. Uh, you can select any position you want print. If you want print with full picture, you just uh, click on the religion print. And the white ink tab option is for bottom. If you want to print on the black t-shirt t-shirt with white ink on the bottom and color ink on the top, you need to choose the white ink type bottom. And if you just want to print white ink, no color same white you print out, you just print with choose by only white. And the only color just means only print with only print with same YK, no white ink print out. And this was for UV working, UV ink using, not for DTG. So it's just uh, bottom only white or all in color. If you want to print by one pass print, white color print by the one pass print, same time, you just choose by bottom. And this fill in white ink, just cho uh, choose close. And the repeat counter is the white ink, white ink, white ink density. If you want to print the maximal, the best, Print the more, more and the more white ink coming out to get the best white ink density. You can put two or three, but normally we put one for get good hand feeling, not so ragged and so hard hand feeling, and also have good white ink uh, density. Maximal can get nine times, nine times white ink. So this is the repeat count is for white ink density. How many white ink um, limit you want to put? And then we go to the ink limit. You can also little adjust. Uh, for example, I want the less white ink, a half white ink. You can choose by uh, cut down the white ink limit print. And normally we just click off. And please remember this CMYK. Please do not adjust. If we adjust the color, the the, the ink limit for CMYK, the the color picture print out will be become the not original. The change the color print out. So we just click off. And also this depends on your requirement. And then we go to the setting. The setting parameter here, uh, no, just keep it as default. And when you click on the auto cleaning, every key print, every one copy to a small cleaning, the print had to prevent the white ink and the color ink clog. As the, because the white ink was made from titanium and it was glued inside. It's very easy to, to clog print head. So we strongly recommend you to to open the auto cleaning <coughs> and uh, as cleaning, the auto cleaning is for print uh, every after you print uh, every every one copies T-shirt be clean, small clean the print head. And this is as cleaning is for when not print if the machine is ready, the machine is either to 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 ready then you automatic cleaning to protect print head. For example, we set by every half an hour to freshen the print head by 10 seconds to little adjust, to little jet ink out to, pre, to prevent the print head get clock. So this just keep the port like as this. And inclusion, it means if you are, you, your print head get a little bit clock, um, you can make it uh, bigger. Normally we keep by 90%. The more number you put, for, one, for example, 100%, the better the better printing quality you get, but the speed a little bit slowly. So normally, we strongly recommend you the number you cannot slow, non, cannot uh, less than 80%. Normally, we keep keep by 80 or 90, depending on your print head node status. And the color bar just click off and fill ink just for load ink the first time or do some cleaning. And extended is for keep the port like this, is for some alignment. Print model choose by focus zero or focus one. Focus zero is a little bit lighter and focus the one, focus L1 is a little bit uh, dark than the light L0. Normally we keep by focus um, L1.
to get the best print result. And this is for vertical and horizontal printing test for, for the print head alignments we taught you before, teach you before. And if you go to the maintain here, it's all just keep before no change. And this is for test print for head failures and the calibration for vertical. And also this for clean, the normal head one is for white, head two is for color. A head one is for color print head, white print head. Head two is for color print head, and the head is for two print head, clean at the same time. Drawing is for pump more ink than normal. And this for move the carriage to left, and move the carriage to right, and the feed is for move the table to front, and the back is to move the table to backward. Up is to uh, to uh, uh, move the table to move up. And down is to move table down and up down is also if you change if you choose the single controlled by the control button from the machine and this up now will be not working and if you if you set the cable connection from the electronic system to to software you can control by this up down software x cone is to to control the carriage back to right home position y is to end these two to up so these pieces do not touch otherwise it will be easy to crop to 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 scratch your print head and uh, just the change but just adjust by up down here and here is the best selection you can not not need to change just keep default and print speed can slow normal and fast and the print selection to right to left bad selection bad selection can get fast print speed but it will be uh, but the quality not so good than not so good than to left and to right. The white ink option is to control if you print with white ink or not. And if you here if here say full color, you must close it. Otherwise, you have an error message come out. And here's to select the uh, print palette. And here's for print the picture on the middle. Okay. So after we know all the function for the control system, we can start to print. And here we can see the print picture is full color, so we must uh, close the white ink. We can we can try if, for example, we open the white ink and we go to the file and we right click to print. We get a message, a message that in image color mismatch because the picture is full color, but we set by five color print. We need to close the white ink, just print by same way, okay. and then we right click the mouse and we choose print to print the picture on the white t-shirt. But before we before we print, we must set the margin and be sure that correct, the right printing palette, your printing palette size, small, middle, or large, you install on the machine. And also you must adjust the table, the t-shirt, the, the gap, the gap between the t-shirt and the print head safety. The gap, the gap between the t-shirt and the print head must be small small um about two to three millimeter cannot uh, scratch the print head because the t-shirt was protruded protrude by the <coughs> protrument liquid and if you get scratched the print head gets scratched by the touched by the t-shirt with the with the protrument it's really easy really really easy to clot the print head so this is the big risk and dangerous so please please be sure the gap between the print head and the t-shirt is safety between 2 to 3 mm millimeter. You can choose up or down to, uh, to adjust the gap, the distance between the print head and the uh, t-shirt surface. And also be sure the table not bending, that every position is safety and not bending otherwise the front the front distance is okay but when you move the car move 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 the table that move the move the table to backward we we'll scratch print head so anyway just be sure no position to scratch print head with t-shirt and print head after that be sure we can go to the fire select the fire and we go to print click print
uh, artificial we still need to process by heating press machine. So first uh, we put the T-shirt on the heating press machine. And be sure, be care careful not let the surface of the picture get dirty. Okay, then we put the silicone paper later. And then you also need the bakering about 40, 30 seconds to make it a uh, little bit dry on the surface of the ink. Not heating press right now, just waiting. Okay, so after 30 seconds, we just put the silicone paper on the top of the t-shirt and we put it inside and we just uh, do the heating press machine by 160 degree and 45 seconds. Just waiting for the tens up. Okay, so now tens up, and the heat temperature will be automatic to take it out. Okay, we remove the silicone paper, and we take out T-shirt. So here we can see we get a nice printed big T-shirt on that on that T-shirt. So see the nice picture, nice quality printed by Master B. Okay, thank you.